Idaho Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan, who is running to lead the state, is making the 2022 race for governor an interesting one. Issuing executive orders while Governor Brad Little was out of the state, he quickly reversed both of those uh, with his own executive order. And her recent squabble with the media about our coverage of her education task force and litigation involving the Idaho Press Club. Steve Kirch spoke with the Lieutenant Governor one-on-one -on -one about her recent actions and why she wants to be Idaho's next governor. I have a proven record of standing in support of conservative traditional values. Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan wants to set the record straight. She said the reason she's running for governor is that she's concerned about the direction Idaho is heading in and the state's reaction to what she considers an overreaching federal government. Continue to fight to protect the conservative values that we all share as Idahoans and we were independent minded people. We we want the government off our back. And, and she says her actions and rhetoric in recent months support what she stands for, liberty and freedom. McGeehan has been a vocal supporter of prohibiting vaccine mandates in the state and asking the state legislature to reconvene. Members of her own party have been reluctant to interfere in matters involving the private sector. That argument falls on deaf ears with this lieutenant governor to say that it's not the proper place for government to intervene in that setting because, as I said, with Medicare, Medicaid, and the Obamacare exchanges, that industry is one of, one of the most highly regulated industries in our state. And in May, she issued an executive order prohibiting mask mandates that, like the most recent incident, happened when Governor Little was out of state and had to be rescinded. I did that to expose the hypocrisy of the policies from uh, our governor and others where they would be in public settings with 500 people wearing no mask, and yet our kids in the classroom were being forced to wear masks. McGeehan says she isn't too worried about the criticism coming at her from within her own party. That's the good old boys that yeah. are pushing back against somebody who's willing to stand up and, and show the leadership that is needed and the, that the people of Idaho are crying out for. And in the end, she's just listening and reacting to the voice of the people. They deserve to be heard. That's what this is all about. Instead of some who continue to be tone deaf to the voice of the people and keeping their head in the sand and just not even want to talk about it.